there could be other elements that are inimical to Bangladesh's interests, like the ISI being involved. There could be other elements that are inimical to Bangladesh's interests, like the ISI being involved. The Bangladesh government has to conduct its own investigation to find out. But uh, people are trying to take advantage. This, these demonstrations in Bangladesh, or student protests have been going on for the last three, four days. Uh, they have uh, taken a number of lives uh, and uh, there has been a reasonable amount of unrest and instability. Um, government has pointed out that, uh, you know, the issue of reservations, I think the students are agitating because they feel that with 56% of government jobs reserved for one category or the other, and especially descendants of freedom fighters, their opportunities are reduced in today's circumstances. Government is saying that we fully agree with you. Government had taken a decision to do away with reservations, but the matter was taken to the higher courts and the courts have put a stay order on this. Courts have to take a final view and the matter is sub -judies. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina herself has come into the public domain and addressed uh, the, uh, the citizens of our country to put these matters in perspective, saying that we are with you, we agree with what you're saying, but the matter is with the courts and we'll try and get the courts to convene as soon as possible to take a decision. Separately, government has also offered a dialogue with the students. Uh, I'm also hearing that government has informally stated that perhaps the courts could pronounce on this issue as early as this weekend on Sunday. Uh, so that has had a salutary effect and I'm told that uh, the you know clashes and the student unrest has decreased. At the same time, we are seeing reports of other elements coming into the picture. Uh, there are radical elements such as the Chhatra Shibir, which is part of the jamaat e islami uh, There is the opposition BNP that has been involved in the protests and demonstrations, uh, which has added a political dimension to this. Uh, there could be other elements that are inimical to Bangladesh's interests, like the ISI being involved. I mean, there are reports of that. I mean, that... Whether that's correct or not, the government has to, Bangladesh government has to conduct its own investigation to find out. But uh, people are trying to take advantage of uh, the situation and essentially, uh, you know, um, uh, using uh, the troubled situation, uh, you know, to fish in troubled water, so to speak. Now, um, the uh, on the other hand, of course, uh, you know, the Awami League, Chhatra League also was involved uh, on the government side to try and confront the, the student uh, demonstrators. Uh, the student community anywhere in the world is, is an important, uh, I would say, barometer of, uh, you know, thinking and sensitivity. And government is fully aware of that in Bangladesh, which is why they're trying to engage the students in a positive manner. And I have no doubt that the situation will come under control, that saner voices will prevail. Uh, the concerns of the students will be met in a satisfactory manner and that peace and stability would be restored at the earliest.